So my name is Leah, like my mentor introduced me. And my mentor's name is Sarah Rice, and she is an engineer for the US Navy. She created ocean engineering and physics, and um, she lives in California with um, her husband, two sons, and two dogs, and she's about to move to um, Washington, D.C., I believe. And over there, on your right, is her official Navy picture. It's very official. All right, so my magic experience is I chose to use the end drawbot, which is a kit with four robots in it. And um, the different robots are M Scara, M Eggbot, M Spider, and M Car. I wasn't sure what project to choose in the beginning, because there are so many projects out there, let me tell you. Um, and so we did an analysis of alternatives and assigning weights and ratings to the various attributes, which is a mouthful, let me tell you. So, yeah. So we're going to take a look at the spreadsheet right now. So we chose the category, and we had different categories. And then we had the next column is a weight, like our rating. And we, uh, the different ones that we had were the MDrawBot, the XY Plotter, and Seaperch. And Seaperch is a little underwater robot. And XY Plotter is essentially this, but it's on a graph. And we chose, in the end, to do the MDrawBot. And so um, the problem with the M drawbot was that it was no longer um, available on the website. So we had to order it up with Amazon, and we had no idea what we'd be getting because Amazon. But thankfully, we got the full kit. Everything was brand new. The saran wrapping wasn't even out of it off of it. So um, we got the kit, we built the M car. It was like Ikea, guys. I don't know if you've ever built something from Ikea, but it was pretty awful. And then we downloaded the application and other materials, and that was difficult because the file was zipped, and so we had to figure out how to open it, and then we had to use a RAR file, which was the only thing compatible with the program. And it was, it was a lot. And then we finally got the software to work. We plugged it up, and the car wouldn't move. And so, um, we readjusted everything. I basically took it apart and built it up again. Um, and it turns out that the wheels were too close to the top part here above the wheel. And so then we finally cooked it all together. We got it to draw something. It was supposed to draw a four-pointed star, but it came out in kind of a circle thing, which I don't think is a star. It's like a weird Ooh. Um And so yeah, we're going to try again for our demo. And I don't know if it's going to work, but we're going to try anyways. So yeah, hopefully it's going to look like a four-pointed star and not a bunch of scribbles. And it should move like the one on the right. But I don't know what it's going to do, so we're just going to go. All right, thank you.